An early warning system supports public health and security by providing a rapid response to the adverse changes in the drug phenomenon, thereby minimizing the risk associated with it. A national early warning system would allow for maintaining a surveillance system that includes information from multiple sources, such as epidemiology, public health, forensic experts, national security and border agencies, and community-based agencies. A few months ago, some of us shared some space together for a week where we did some initial discussions and reviews on current threats and trends within the drug market. And we looked at psychoactive substances specifically. And some of you have returned today, and I'm happy to have you here. For all, all of us, we are all key stakeholders and partners in our national efforts to minimize the impact of drugs on our health, on our people, on our economic development. And so each of you bring to the table some very valuable experiences and expertise that we know together would allow for very successful commencement, development, and continuity of an early warning system. Establishing an early warning system also means the building of capacities that would allow for, among other things, more rapid and accurate information on new and emerging drug phenomena in the drug market and the systematic monitoring of the availability and consumption patterns and other emerging drugs. Workshop participants include medical and public health practitioners, emergency response personnel, law enforcement, border control, forensic science practitioners, community and social support officials, and financial intelligence agents. During the workshop, the participants will receive training on the detection of emerging drug-related threats, risk assessment, issuing of alerts, follow-up actions, monitoring, and surveillance. The drug problem in our region continues to evolve, and the emergence of new psychoactive substances known as NPS and opioids such as fentanyl, as all of you are aware, have resulted in dire consequences for countries in the Americas, in particular those in North America, the USA and Canada. Uh, you know as well as I do about the overdose incidences and deaths that have been rising over the uh, last few years in the USA and Canada. Uh, in our region, in, in the Americas, we have Argentina, where last year we had about 20 persons dying uh, because of uh, opioid-laced substances that they ingested without knowing what they were taking. And indeed, uh, even more closer to home, about a month ago we received the news from uh, Trinidad and Tobago from the early warning system there of the discovery of their first synthetic drugs lab, which was manufacturing uh, methamphetamine in the south of Trinidad. And then about three weeks ago, in a similar event to this one in Barbados, uh, incidentally where I'm from, there was the discovery of synthetic cannabinoids um, in the drug market there. So these things are getting closer and closer to home. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belma george said the Early Warning System Workshop provides the opportunity for shared knowledge and allows for St. Lucia to learn from its counterparts who have already implemented an early warning system. Looking at the methodology from the agenda that is prepared, I see a lot of success for us and I'm really looking forward to the launch of our national program. I'm hoping it's very soon um, because a lot is happening that we are not aware of and from where I stand, we manage a lot of the end products. We'll see the increases in our health facilities. We'll see the increases in hospital admissions. We see what's happening with our young persons within the mental wellness center. But detecting the root issues from very early and managing it from that point, a preventative way is always the most cost-effective um, way of dealing with this. Um, I also want to take the, the opportunity to recognize the Substance Abuse Secretariat led by Mrs. Lloyd Felix for organizing and putting this very well organized um, conference together. I really see success at the end of this. So I take the opportunity to welcome you again and to thank you for being here with us and wishing you a fruitful conference and also to officially declare the conference open. 
the Early Warning Systems Workshop was made possible through financial support from the Government of Canada. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Julita Peter reporting.